So this is the end result. Video coming up is how we got to this point on how to winterfire your lawn. Right, we're back at the last job. It's Monday, November the 8th. It's November the 8th for sure, because Arsenal beat Watford 1-0 yesterday. And I wouldn't have known that if this was filmed a week prior. So let's get my stuff out and we'll have a chat about what we're going to do and how we're going to bring this lawn back to life. Why is it whenever I want to film a video, there's somebody blowing leaves in the background. It's almost like it's done deliberately. So let's just have a look at what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to get all these leaves out of the border. So whilst I'm scarifying, and mowing this, I might as well blow all these on and I can pick them all up in one go. Let's just have a walk over the lawn and talk about if you can do this kind of stuff. If the lawn's boggy, then don't bother. You're just gonna create more hassle. But because this is new, drainage is really good. It's really firm, even in this corner where it is really bad. When I first did the job, it did pool over it, but it's really firm. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm gonna give this the go ahead. We can see it's a little bit speckled with colour. We've had a bit of a disease outbreak in September and uh, they were away and I couldn't get out, get here. And because it's enclosed and the sun weren't drying off the dew, we got hit. So we've got a bit of scar from that. We've got discoloration because over here there's more sand over there where we did the root zone because there's more uh, of a depth there, so it's going to drain away quicker and leach through the, the nutrients. So that explains the different colours of green. Also, we've got a lack of colour because it's not been fed for a while. Budget change due to changing circumstances. So I've not really been able to keep on top of this as much as I would have liked. But I've said, just going into the winter, we're going to have more trouble if we don't give it a feed and a scary fire. So I said, let's get it done. Give me something to do. And look good for Christmas most importantly. So let's get on with that blowing those leaves and then we'll get on with the scarifier. We'll double cut it with the mower to give me stripes as a guide for my feed. And then we'll see how it looks in a couple of weeks. Great, so now I'm filming my video. The guys decided to walk down the drive almost deliberately i think i think they're on to me and uh want to ruin all my videos so what we're going to do is get on with the alcohol we're not going to go too deep we're literally just going to tease the top of the surface just get rid of some of that death that necrotic growth and the disease damage and then we'll rake it up which will also rake up some of that disease damage so i'm not going to be able to get it all up with the scary fire Probably might give it one pass or two. We'll see how I get after the first, whether I give it a second one in a different direction. And then we'll get on with the hair to pick it up, get some autumn punch on, some galactic green, and then we'll see how we get on in a couple of weeks. Right, so I've just done one pass. We've made a little inroads into the uh, top there. So I'm going to give it another pass left to right, just because there's not much stuff to come up. And I wouldn't expect too much stuff to come up because it's new. So I'm not concerned that there's nothing coming up because of the, the mower. The scarifier is not low enough. I don't want to go too low because because it's, you know, it's undulated. You're going to dig it in certain places. Where, the, where it's hollow, where it's got like little hollows. You're not going to touch those so you would like to go deeper but then when you come to the higher bits if you put your scarify too low you're going to dig into those higher bits so i'd rather miss the lower bits and take too much out of the higher bits if that makes sense and like i said before november i've never ever scarified in november so this is a more like a guinea pig trial really to see what what happens as i said if your lawn's really boggy don't bother we're not going to be top dressing or anything like that. It's, to put Jack's magic down now would be suicide, really, because you've not got the temperatures there to break that down. Like the bacteria is not really that active. The sun's not shining on it, breaking it down, and the, you know, you're know you not going to be mowing it to mow it up. So that would literally just sit there and hold water, which then you would get moss growing in. So Jack's magic, really, I only like to use 
in the uh, spring and like you know early summer renovations for that reason so let's get on with the second pass and then we'll get on with uh raking it up and saying that i'm not actually sure i need to rake it up if nothing much comes up the other direction i'll probably just get on with the mower to be honest and uh not bother but i have been eating a lot of chocolate recently and pies and stuff because that's what happens in the winter when it gets a bit cooler you want the war you know you want a warm lunch rather than a cold lunch so it's easily done to get pie and peas or chips and gravy or whatever from the chippy so maybe i need the exercise so we'll see see how i feel in a sec Okay, so that's the second pass done. Bit of worm cast damage, uh, not too much. It's more or less on this left side, to be honest. There's not much anywhere else. So what I think I'm gonna do is, because of all the leaves and I've got a few patches of scarifines where it's like gathered and then fallen out in one place, and I've got time on my hands, I'll get the old rake out and let's give it a rake and let's get some exercise done. Right, so let's have a look in here. That can only be a good thing that we've got all this out, can't it? There's a lot of leaves in there, but a lot of those birch leaves are very small and they sit beneath the grass and you can't really see them and they're blocking that grass from actually growing. So they are very important that you get the birch leaves up. Um, so we've mo uh, got most of those up with the rake and now we're gonna mow and get this double striped both ways, like I said, for the feed and the liquids that I'm going to put on but it looks an absolute mess I'll just upload a picture of what it looked like at its best and then you can see that it's very worst but hopefully we'll get it something like like I said in a couple of weeks two to three weeks should be looking a lot more now it's important this time of year I'll touch on it later on in the video but when we're choosing a nitrogen to go on here now we want ammonia nitrogen because the plant can take that up straight away even at lower temperatures what we don't want to be doing is is putting on a slow release or um, anything organic because that's not gonna kick in. So I'll touch, touch base with that more as I'm doing it. But let's get the mower on and see if we can make this look a bit better. Right, so the double cut's done, looks bloody awful. It doesn't look as bad as this to my eye. The iPhone's picking up a lot more than I can actually see. So trust me on that one. It does look a bit greener, although it is uh, a bit yellow as well, but it's just a different color green that I can see. So what I'm gonna do now is get the autumn punch on, cut it both ways. I can just about see that way just about but what a mess i'm absolutely embarrassed to be doing this video but um this is what happens this time of year this garden won't see the sun hasn't seen the sun uh for a few weeks now if not over a month because when the sun comes round, it doesn't get above the neighbor's houses now so this is what happens as soon as the sun uh, doesn't get on it the grass deteriorates um so let's see what we can do in terms of getting it back so on with the autumn punch Right, so I've got the spreader out. I'm on the rotary today. I've put four kilos in there, which is what we need for this lawn. I'm gonna put it on a very low setting and do multiple passes 
and that way we get it nice and accurate. Right, okay, so that was four passes in all. So that's on there now, that'd be really accurate. The last pass was just getting rid of the dregs in the bottom, so that didn't really uh, do much, but just got rid of the stuff in there. So, looking good. Let's get on with some liquids, and we'll show you what we're putting on there. Right, so I've just mixed my spray tank up. I've got some Galactic in there. I've got some High End in there, some ICL High End, and that's just gonna give us a little bit of boost for the plant to take up straight away. We've got to wait for the granular fertilizer to break down first before that'll start being took up. Even though it is ammonia and nitrogen in there, we're just going to get that high end in there just straight away, give us a little perk up. There's a little bit of nitrogen in the galactic as well, but there's only about 2% in there, so that's not really going to do much. So I'll put the high, the high end in there just because, like I say, that extra boost. Uh, I also put a wetting agent in just so the water can penetrate through and not sit on the surface because I've, what I've done is I've kind of sealed it over now with the heavy roller on there. That's kind of sealed. So if I put the wetting agent on, hopefully then I'll just keep that top surface open and um, with the iron content of the galactic, that's going to stop any algae or moss forming as well. So there is method in the madness. So let's get that sprayed and then that job here is done. So that's it, job done here. A few tips going forward. I would recommend keeping on top of moss. Keep cutting if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. But if you just stop mowing now and leave it for three months and then pick the mow back up in March, your grass is going to be that long and then that's a hell of a stress and you're going to take longer to recover. So moss control and keep cutting when you can are my two top two. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. We'll join this back in two to three weeks. You know me, I'll always show the end result no matter how it looks. So until then, take care, keep safe, and I'll see you soon.